Hi everybody, this is Shay with The Learning Project. Welcome back. I am sitting out in my car outside of my school and I just wanted to come on quickly to just give you an update about my week. Today was a really great week with my students. Today was a heavy day of testing. Um, just your normal Friday testing, you know, where they students had to uh, had a test on their sight words, their spelling words, sentence dictation. We had a math test. We had a sci science assignment about force and motion, which is push and pull, which is what we I uh, gave them an assignment about today. Also, they had a test, a comprehension test, where they had to read a paragraph and answer two questions. We also were going over the long vowel sounds. So we had a worksheet where students had to um, circle the long vowel sounds. Uh, the, they had the pictures and they had to identify those pictures that had the long vowel sound and they had the long A actually vowel sound and they had to circle that. And I think that was it in terms of the assignments or the test that um, students had on today. And I also did this week a lot of practice for just this is gonna be real specific, but it's phonological awareness. Awareness, and we did phoneme isolation, phoneme segmentation, phoneme blending as well. And so what that looks like or what that is basically is this. If you have a word, let's say I give them a word and I say, okay, the word is cat and they have the sounds that I could at. But then I can break down a word and say, I'm going to break down a word. The word is bull a -cuh. and they have to put it together block. So we did a lot of whiteboard work with segmenting um, words and then segment and blending words as well. Also, we did phoneme substitution, where let's say, for instance, I say, okay, boys and girls, your word is sit, and they sound it out, it, or they sound it out, it, on their arm. And then I say, okay, if I take off the t and put a p, what's your new word? And they have to think about it and then tell me the new word would be sip. So we did a lot of whiteboard work with that, where we did phoneme substitution, as well as um, we did a lot of work where we did phonics with that same that same skill where they actually wrote it down. So as you phonological awareness is just if you are hearing the sounds without writing down the letters. And then phonics is also, uh, phonics is when you're actually hearing the letters and the sounds. So we did both. I did that phoneme um, substitution, both under phonological awareness as well as under phonics. But just getting kiddos ready for some up and coming tests that I know they're gonna have, that's gonna have that skill. Also, I don't know why it is I keep getting sick. I had students in my class who were sick. I had my mask on all week, but it seems like I still picked up a bug. I know that I was tired because I had to come back to school one day because we were having an event at school and then I'm on different committees and this week was a heavy committee week where I was just running around being a part of different committees as well so yeah I think I was just tired as well as picked up probably a little bug although my students have been coughing but I wanted you to take a look at this look at this I'm gonna zero in some of you already know what that is I did not know what that was until our school nurse told me and yes it is a ringworm I said it a ringworm I have not gotten a ringworm I think I got a ringworm one time when I was like a little kid I remember being like in daycare uh, maybe about six or seven and I got a ringworm so I did not know what this what this was my mom uh, was like that's a ringworm the nurse told me miss uh miss Shay that's that's a ringworm guys look at that Listen, I had a student, I was giving a sight word test on last week, Friday, and that test is an oral test. So I call them to me and they have to point and read the words. I had a student who nicked me with his sleeve of his jacket, nicked me and it was wet. And then 
from there and started itching and then yeah this is what it is and if you teach kids if you teach kids and if you have kids you know especially the little kids they suck they suck the sleeve of their jackets or their shirts and put it in their mouth and they're just suck it suck it they'll wipe their noses in it they're coughing it it's just nasty so when it nicked me it was wet it got me here i felt i was like ah. And I was like, okay, he was hugging me and I said, okay. And I hugged him back and then I got up to wipe it off. I didn't wipe it with like a Clorox wipe. I wiped it with a regular wipe, which I probably should have done that. Maybe that would have helped. I don't know. But then I kept saying, oh, that was just so wet. Itching, itching. And now this. The nurse is so funny. The nurse, our school nurse told me, Ms. Shay, um, yeah, we send home students when they have a ringworm because it's so contagious. You guys know these things are highly contagious and I was like yes I was like so you're gonna write a note or I mean we're gonna let the principal know I'm gonna go home and, and she was like no I don't do that for teachers only for students I was like oh my so anyway needless to say I've had this for all a week and I've been very careful with it and no one else has popped up with it but um yeah this is what I've got so there you go well, I just wanted to come on and say a quick hi. I just wanted to share a couple of things that I did today, as well as some focuses that I was on or had this week with my students. And I just wanted to come on and say hi. I'm going to get some rest this weekend, and then I'll come back next week with another video. Take care, guys. This is Shay with The Learning Project. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.